everyone. Welcome to the Daily Word. I, I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word today, we're going into Psalm 58. I want to share with you verse 11, and then let's let's talk about the fact, just for a few minutes here, that God judges justly. Would you hear the word of the Lord? Then at last, everyone will say, there truly is a reward for those who live for God. Surely there is a God who judges justly here on earth. You know, we human beings were born with an innate sense of justice. If you have had kids or raising kids, uh, been around kids, then uh, chances are you have heard a child say, that's not fair, <laughs> right? Uh, he got one more than me, she got something I didn't, uh, that, that sort of thing. There is this innate sense of, of justice. And, and honestly, it causes us to struggle because what we see in this broken world is that not everything is right and fair and, and just. Many times the thing that is just, that is right, uh, does not happen. And in fact, at times we know that, that horrific, terrible things uh, happen, unjust things happens. And God has given us the, the government uh, as, uh, as a, a gift, believe it or not, <laughs> um, to uh, provide at least what we could call an approximation of justice. There is in, in this world um, uh, nothing that we can do that would provide what we might would call pure justice. And yet, uh, we know that there is a justice system and it provides order and some approximation of, of justice, though it, it cannot provide perfect justice. But God reveals that Jesus Christ is the perfect judge, that He will one day judge all people, that He will one day open all of the records and people will stand before him and they will get uh, what they deserve. Um, this, uh, if you think about it, this enables us to release people to God's judgment, to entrust people to, to the Lord's judgment so that we don't have to pay them back. This, this is, is actually a part of forgiveness that God enables us to do. I don't have to take vengeance. God will make this right. They, they will have to deal with the Lord on this. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. The problem is, if everyone gets what they deserve, <laughs> then that means I get what I deserve and you get what you deserve. And the truth is that if that's the case, we're all in very, very great trouble. But the thing is, the, the incredible good news of Jesus Christ is that the judge has taken our sentence upon himself. Those who are in Christ need have no fear of the judgment. There's this passage in Revelation chapter 20, it's uh, verse 12. I want to share with you because you have a picture here of, of two books. And the gospel is the decider between which of these books we show up in. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne. And the books were opened, including the book of life. And the dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. And so we either get judged according to our deeds, what is recorded in God's books, or our names are in the book of life. And our record of wrong in those books has been wiped clean by the grace of Jesus Christ. He remembers our sins no more. And so the judgment for the Christian is not about, am I going to make it in? Am I going to be okay? Is God going to condemn me as I stand before Him? That's not the concern for the one who is in Christ. Really, the judgment for the Christian, it seems very clear, is about reward. Receiving the reward of our faith 
the reward of our faithfulness to the Lord. So we read, for instance, in Luke 6, this, um, this is verse 23, uh, when that happens, that is uh, about being excluded and mocked and hated for the sake of Christ, when that happens, be happy, yes, leap for joy, for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And then we can scroll down a bit here. We read in beginning in verse 35, Love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great, and you will truly be acting as children of the Most High, for He is kind to those who are unfaithful and wicked. You must be compassionate just as your Father is compassionate. Now, what, what is this reward? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, we, we really don't, but we know that it is good because it is from the Lord. It is in heaven. It is eternal reward that won't rust. It, it won't be corrupted. It won't be eaten by moths. It won't be stolen. It is eternal reward, and I suspect very strongly that it, it has to do with knowing more of Jesus Christ because He, honestly, honestly, He Himself, is our true treasure, our true reward. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.